Hello students, today we are going to create a software using Scratch which able to calculate the rectangle's area. And how are we going to do that? First, you see, to calculate the rectangle's area, we need width and length. So, if the width, for example, is 5 and the length is 8, so the area is 5 times 8, and you will get the area is 40. By using Scratch, you will have a user-friendly feature. So, for example, the cat will say, What is the width of the rectangle? So, your answer here is 5 for the width. What is the length of the rectangle? And then your answer will be 8. And then the cat will think again and again, 5 times 8. And then the cat will say, The area of the rectangle is 40. How do you know it's 40? Of course, by 5 times 8. And then, sometimes it's the cat doesn't say the area of the rectangle, but the cat sometimes can say the area of the square. How is it possible? So, the cat can say rectangle or the cat can say a square basically from the width and the length. If the, if the width and the length is the same, then it's a square. If the else or the width and the length is not the same, then it will be a rectangle. Now, basically, that is the main point what the question here talk about. But let's make it, let's read it line by line. So, create a user-friendly program using Scratch which counts the area of a rectangle. You read it one by one. Please answer the question using a screenshot of your Scratch. The user-friendly feature will provide the answer in a nice sentence, okay, like this. What is the length, okay? The input, the input here, the user of your program inputs the width. After it's done, the program will ask the user to input the length, see, width and length first. To find the area of the rectangle, multiply the length by the width. The output. The user will get the report for the area of the rectangle if it's not the same with the height. Width and height is not the same. But if the width and the height is the same, so you get the area of a square. And display that one in square centimeter. Okay? And put your name there. Okay, this software is created after the command of the when the green flag is clicked. Okay, let's do this one. First of all, as you know, uh, I just want to create a backdrop so I won't get bored. Okay, so I'm going to put something here. Is it underwater? Okay, area of the rectangle is in underwater, and I'm going to make this cat 300%. Whoa, that big, yeah. Now, this cat is going to be our guide as usual when the flag is clicked. I'm putting it here, and then this cat will say something. Okay, because this as you write down a story, you need a title. So this one will say, this software will 
calculate the area of I press control and scroll to make it zoom like this zoom in zoom out control and scroll the area of a rectangle okay this software will calculate the area of a rectangle but uh, the, but we need to put this one created by my name of course David Setiabudi okay now students let's move to the next one which you know that we need to create the width and the length so we need to create the variable first make a variable width okay set width to zero okay everything should be started from zero and then height so the variable with that we create is width and height and then again what we need is area great so width height and area so we have the main ingredients right now the first thing that we do here is we read this one is okay okay and then input the user of your program inputs the width like this what is the length okay when you ask for or an input okay when you ask for an input it's not say let's say this one see say created by david stiabudi this software will calculate the area of the rectangle that one doesn't need any answer but for user input you don't use say instead you are using us when you pick this us you need to straightly pick up two things ask and answer because every question when you ask you need an answer just put them both okay ask and answer and what what's the width first is the width what is the width of the rectangle in centimeter okay and wait but this time the question is flying you don't put it here of course the area to answer no not yet what is the width of the rectangle and then here you set the width because this one is width you see width to answer if you see this one see this one will ask what's what's the width of the rectangle in centimeter so you see this one is zero now when you put this one you put the answer what's the width of the rectangle like this this one is the same you put your answer here so width is five see this one this zero will become five see set the width set the width to answer the answer is five so this one becomes five write down now the next one is the height width and the height so we are going to put here what's the height of the rectangle and straightly put this answer here although it's still flying okay we need to put something here not area but it's the height you put it here okay for the rectangle now the next one after you get width and height should we ask what is the area of the rectangle no the area of the rectangle should be calculated here you read it 
guys with this one you only ask for the width and for the length oh yeah not height it's length okay to find the area of the rectangle multiply the length by the width okay so the computer calculates that one width and length not height we are not creating a cube here length okay and how to fix this one you can do right click here rename variable and change it to length okay so now it's become length this one will automatically change to length with width and length now set this one set the area with length and area we are lacking of area here multiplying answer uh, multiplying width and the length so we go to this operator there's plus minus this one times the star is times this one is a division we use the multiplication which is star if you do multiplication guys put the width and wait put the width here and put the length here now you see this one let's test it test it out okay everything becomes zero and here we type down five length this one what is the length of the rectangle we can put here is eight it's 40 but the cat doesn't say a thing now read this one the output the user will get report from the scratch cat about the area of the rectangle but it's also the area of a square if the width is equals to the height so what we are going to do here this cat will say something okay and let's say it says but this one is only one hello so if you want to put a lot of text you need to put join okay the area of the rectangle is there you put the area but we need to put centimeter square is it square centimeters or centimeter squared okay you can use centimeters square centimeters or centimeters square with d okay now let's go to this part and put join the last one is square centimeters and here we will put the answer which is the the area correct testing so let's say 5 times 3 the length is 3 15 centimeter square 5 times 3 is 15 but you see just now it doesn't have any space we put press space bar here and press space bar here so we are going to make a distance okay but you see this one is always be rectangle okay so we need to put if because that one says if if it's the same with the width and height so it will be square so we are going to put here is using if i'm going to put it here and this one duplicate i put it here this one is a rectangle and this one is square now what should I put here is like this one see equals to 
okay, or bigger than, smaller than, but what I need is equals to. So I need to put something on the left and something on the right. Okay, as I read here, if the width is equal to the height, then it will display the area of the square. Width equals to height. So, width, hey, width equals to the length. Come on. Length. Wow, sometimes I make a wrong question. It's supposed to be length. Okay, so if width is equal to the length, so it's a square. Forgive my mistake, guys. Okay, so let's start. Now, let's try to put the width equals to the length, okay? The width equals to the length. So, 7, and the length is 7, it's 49, okay? Make it longer, 4 seconds. Now, let's make it unequal so width is 4 length is 7 28 but it's rectangle okay one more time for the last one 6 and 6 it's a square see the area of the square is 36 cent square centimeters. Okay? I hope you guys understand about this. Okay? Basically, this one is calculating the area of the rectangle. But if you calculate for a triangle, yes, then the area is width times length times 0 0.5 or half but if you are going to calculate for a cube okay the volume of a cube it's width times length times height okay i hope this tutorial is useful for you guys okay and if you like this one please subscribe bye bye